Nicola Bully. Who can forget the beautiful Nicola Bully, the mother of two from United Kingdom that lost her life last year? She went missing on Friday, January 27th of 2023. The Lancashire police were heading up the investigation for Nicola Bully to try to figure out what happened to her. So for those that do not know the case, perhaps watch this video and I will tell you about the story of Nicola Bully. So on January 27th at 8.43 a.m., Nicola Bully walked along the path by the river wire, having dropped her two children off at school. At 8.50 a.m., a dog walker, somebody who knows Nicola Bully, saw her walking around the lower field with her dog. Their two dogs interacted briefly before the witness left the field via the river path. At 8.53 a.m., she sent an email to her boss. At 9.01 a.m., she logged into a Teams call. And at 9.10 a.m., a witness, somebody who knows Nicola, saw her on the upper field walking her dog Willow. Work is ongoing today to establish exactly what time this was. Now, at 9.30, the Teams call ended, but Nicola Bully stayed logged in. At 9.35 a.m., Nicola's mobile phone and Willow were found at a bench by the river by another dog walker. The dog's harness was found on a bench along with her phone, which is still connected to a work conference call. The dog's lead was on the floor. At 10.15 a.m., the alarm is raised around an hour later by a walker who finds her Springer Spaniel Willow running loose. On January 28th, police hunt for Miss Bully, including by searching the stretch of the river where she was last seen. Family and friends and the community all gathered to help aid in trying to find out what happened to Nicola Bully. And why is it her phone was left logged in to a conference call and her dog Willow was left at the bench? Now Nicola's story was spreading across the internet. New stations were picking up the story. Nicola Bully's husband, Paul, had tried to get in touch with her and call her and message her saying, have you got lost? Nicola Bully's parents, Ernie and Dot, were so distraught to learn of the fact that Nicola Bully hadn't returned home that morning. It was not like... Now, a huge search ensued in the search for Nicola Bully. There was drones, there was search teams, there was dogs, there was scuba divers, and sadly, Nicola Bully could not seem to be located. Now, the Lancashire police had a working hypothesis, and that hypothesis was that Nicola Bully must be in the river wire. Now, they had no proof of this. There was no clothing. There wasn't anything to show that Nicola Bully had actually fallen into the water. But that's the hypothesis that they were working on, which led to a great amount of speculation because it's like saying, believe us, but we have nothing to show you. But this is what we believe happened. Of course, there was three main conspiracies, and that was that Nicola had either been abducted, taken her own life, or that she had fallen into the river wire. Now, Nicola Bully's family had requested that Peter Falding come help join in the search for Nicola Bully. So he had come approximately 10 days after the fact of which Nicola Bully had been missing. To no avail as well, Peter Falding did not find Nicola Bully in the river wire. And at that particular time, everyone was just simply perplexed. What happened to Nicola Bully? And that's exactly even more so when conspiracy theories got at their peak because there was nothing, nothing to show that Nicola Bully was in the river wire. After all this searching and drones and Peter Falding coming in and dogs and people searching for Nicola Bully, there was simply nothing that they had found. 
Now, up until recently, Peter Falding had not said much in regards to the search that had happened, but we'll get into that in an entire different video. So about three weeks had passed, and then on February 19th of 2023, a psychic medium named Jason and his friend had this feeling that they needed to go to the river wire. And while they were there, they had spotted what they thought was a body in the water. Now, as it turned out, this would in fact be Nicola Bully. So obviously the family was very relieved and grateful to finally know what happened to Nicola Bully, that she was finally found. But we all know that just like us, we were grasping at straws, hoping that Nicola Bully was still alive and perhaps she just had to get away. And the family was basically saying, Nicola, if you have any issues or, you know, please come back home and we can deal with it. Now, sadly, that's not how this case turned out. And the inquiry had said that Nicola Bully had accidentally fallen into the water. Now, there's still a lot of different speculation about that. But at the end of the day, Nicola Bully is a beautiful mother of two and this case has meant a lot to this channel and many others and we will continue to do tribute videos and talk about Nicola Bully when the times are appropriate to do so and because Nicola Bully disappeared January 27th this month will be a lot about Nicola Bully. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like and subscribe. And again, prayers go out to Nicola Bully's family, her husband Paul, and her two daughters that no longer have a mother. So prayers to Nicola Bully. Rest in peace, beautiful angel. Exactly what for?